Oh man, I get a whole new... Wait a second. I got ignition and limit break gauge. Slots for everyone. They're shared with Phoenix, okay. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifrit. When the gauge is full, the gauge fills in battle, both by taking damage as well as successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers, okay. Semi-priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard breaking strikes. So it doesn't change our abilities. So what next? We return to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. Wow, he actually is gonna Hannah, amongst other things. hold that promise. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. Let's check it out. Oh, how cool is that? If it's like inside our main wheel. Don't you love it when like the story and the lore actually connects with the gameplay, you know, in a way that's kind of silly like this, but it just feels right, you know. This whole time we've had this circle, but like, why is it separate from the other ones? And then like, boom, this is why. That's cool. Okay, so oh, we can upgrade our limit break. Oh, this gives us more information here. Duration is determined by the number of gauges, can be used at any time. Cannot be KO'd while semi-primed. You're invincible while, while semi-primed. That would have been a nice thing for me, them to tell me in the tutorial. Changes attack style, doubles spells, increases charge magic, magic burst, and, so you can magic burst, and precision shot potency by 10%. Increases iconic ability potency, so it does... Strengthen your abilities just slightly. Slowly restores HP, increases defense by 10% for some reason. <laughs> Prevents stagger when taking damage. I get a second limit break gauge if I upgrade it. And if I master it, I get a third. Uh... Oh, it said I learned this, but I didn't. It's just another thing I can learn. Attack while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back. Eh. I don't really like that. Will of the Wikes. Or Will of the Wicks. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle about Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Huh. More of a defensive ability. Not really into either of those, actually. You know what I am into? Leveling up Magic Burst since I use it so often. Oh, mastering it makes it easier. That's interesting. I should probably level up Precision Dodge. That gives me a bigger window for that, too. This whole time I've been doing this with the weaker Precision Dodge. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, change the... Put Garuda in first if you want. Would have been cool if Ifrit got his own... circle thing. But I guess it makes sense. 
can also just do this. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try the afraid abilities at some point, but they just don't look like what I use. The charge might be nice, but there's nothing I really want to replace. I like this for AoE and stagger. I like this for damage. This is like my biggest move, and this is really good for stagger. This I could maybe replace. I could master the effort ability and put it here if I really liked it that much. It might be nice for... The other thing, too, is the charge is gap closing, and I don't need that. Both of these gap close. I really am not in need of gap closing. Ooh, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. He's off. Come on. Hmm. Something seems suspicious. What could it be? What happened here? <laughs> what was that? That looked super goofy. Imperials, you'll pay for this. You attack me or what? What are you doing here? Answer me! Wait a second. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Stop, birds. I'm trying to see something. Okay, never mind. I thought for some reason it felt like I had another combo. Speaking of abilities, I still have not tried my ultimate. Uh, I don't actually know how to... Oh, it's right here. So this has to take place of one of my... Uh, what do I replace it with? I want more buttons. <laughs> Uh, I guess this. Does this have like a bigger cooldown or something? Because it seems stronger. Am I still in combat, technically? That's annoying. Um... Maybe it'll tell me in here. No, it doesn't. It doesn't tell you what the cooldown is. Which is a strange piece of information to withhold. It's like one of the most important things in terms of DPSing. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die one! Kill all the Ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! 
That's enough. Garuda, lend me your strength. Enemies are blocking a bit more now. Give them all you've got, boy. Jill covered in blood. All must burn! The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! My mother ordered this. Why? Clive. Oh. I know. I'll give you, uh... Couple guesses. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. My wounds, boy. Is not a nice person. Let's start off with that. I should probably use my limit because I don't know how fast it charges. Wow! Oh, I parried him. I have no idea how magic bursting works when you're if it. Oh, it doesn't last very long either. It feels pretty fast, so you're kind of supposed to use it pretty often, it seems. Yeah, I almost have it again, holy cow. So it's much more of a every battle tool and not a use it against the boss kind of thing. Which I'm pretty okay with. Give them all you've got. Oops, wrong button. Keep your distance, boy. song is similar to the song that was playing during the original war in the start of the game. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. 
You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. Now we're officially joining. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kutka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Oh man, what a great slime ball character he looks like. So, something feels like it got lost in translation. Do you remember? I was going sub, Secret of the Raid. Um, like, how, how many hours are we in now? I don't even know, I've lost count. 20-ish hours? 20-ish hours in Final Fantasy 16 spoilers? Just so you raiders know as you're coming in. Um, so it feels like something got lost in translation. Because remember back when Sid said bye to us? And he was like... Pretty much saying like a epic goodbye. And we were kind of like, why is he saying goodbye? Like we're just going to see Rosalia. Like we're not leaving. Leaving. But now in this conversation, he was like, we got to go tell Sid you had a change of heart. And I thought you had your own stuff to deal with. So it feels like there was supposed to be a scene. Maybe we just missed it, but it feels like there was supposed to be a scene where Clive was like, sorry, Sid, I can't help you anymore. I got to go do my own stuff or something. You know what I mean? Maybe they just forgot it or it got lost somewhere got cut for some reason, but feels like there was supposed to be a moment where he was like, Sid, I gotta go do my own things. I might be back, I might not be back, or even maybe they fight and they're like, he's like, I gotta do my own thing. Like, there should have been a scene where Clive was like, I gotta go take care of this, and Sid was like, no, you gotta stay with us and help. And he was like, no, this is more important. And then they had like a tussle. And then that scene happened 
where they said goodbye and Sid was gave him like his final word on it. And then this part where they come back together. Yeah, it's more of like implied, but I think it would have been better if there was a scene. Maybe not, but from what I gathered, most of us were a bit confused by that one scene. So I feel like it could have been done a bit better. I was confused by that scene. I was like, why are they saying goodbye? So maybe it could have been, maybe they didn't have to get into a straight up fight, but maybe just a moment where he was like, I gotta do my own stuff before I keep helping you, Sid. Just some kind of line where he says that so that the goodbye scene isn't kind of out of nowhere. Because it definitely felt out of nowhere for me. Maybe not for everyone, but did for me. Did for a couple people in the chat. Yeah, he was never fully committed to the cause. That's for sure. But still, I, I don't know. Just felt kind of weird. How Sid gave him like a final goodbye. I'll say one more thing before you go. It was like kind of out of nowhere. I don't know. I don't think it was bad. It's just maybe it would have been a little bit better if they had approached that differently. I mean, to say he wasn't committed at all is a bit of an exaggeration. He was definitely helping. And at that point, he was more committed than he was when he started. But I know what you mean. Anyway. <laughs> he got the planks. He was all in. He got those wooden planks for that guy. If that's not all in. I don't know what's... I don't know what's all in if that's not all in. Come on. He served dinner. He was basically part of the crew. Just from a narrative standpoint, it feels like there was supposed to be one more scene there that got cut. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a scene where he told Sid, I'm leaving to go to Rosalia, and it just got cut. And then we kind of got it. They figured like, eh, it's implied, it'll be fine. Yes? What? Going purse weighing you down? This stuff is still, man, this is so odd. This is still so odd to me. This is all still completely useless. Finished, are you? Same with the blacksmith. Clive, was it? Yeah, I mean, even just a moment where Sid, where Clive said to Sid, like, hey, I might not be back. Because if I find out the truth, I might not be back. And then Sid is like, okay, here's my final, you're, you're a good person, Clive. Yeah. But perhaps that was the part of it that was implied. It was implied that Clive might not come back. Now we can replay Phoenix Gate. For some reason... This shows the bosses, and this shows the stages, but they're the same. From what I understand, these are exactly the same. Kind of cool that we get different pictures, I guess. Hey, you know what I could do? I could use this to test out the cooldown on this ability. Holy crap, it does a whole cutscene! Now I can... Test out Limit Break, too. Oh, and it'll show me the burst timing, also. Uh, where is... Oh, 
that is a big cooldown. Yeah, that's that's no good in terms of DPS. Holy moly. That's like use it once a battle. CD. <laughs> that's a belly. So what damage are we talking about here? That does... It's hard to tell how much damage it is. Oh, that's miserable damage. Granted, it's only level 1 and this is level 2, but... I think uh, this is way more, way more about the heal you get, and it also probably gives you iframes. Precise sick timing. There's sick timing. Is the sick timing. Keep your distance, boy. So during abilities? Odd. Oh, it is. You know what to do, boy. Okay. Thanks. It's not that I don't get it, it's that I think it's bad. Uh, where's the enemy aggro? So can I use this to cancel stuff? No. Sort of? <laughs> You get some iframes after it, but it doesn't cancel their attack. They just freeze in place. Yeah, I mean, you still get... Huh. Yeah, that's... That ain't it, Chief. I wish I could test the... other ultimate ability. Just because it's... It's so many, so many ability points. This just seems like the ultimate AOE move. I guess that's one thing that I'm not taking into consideration too, is the AOE of this move. Um... You can do different enemies, but I think it's always one. Ooh, I can pick a bunch of new enemies now. Yeah, it's always one. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, I could refund. Maybe I will. Well, it's not even really going to help too much because there's only one enemy. I will say... Gives you... Oh, uh, maybe not actually. I was going to say it gives you a lot of battle performance, but not really.
Okay, so maybe I will refund this. Upgrade my Cyclone. I can also refund Heat Wave, I guess, since I'm not using it. Not that it's worth much. Can't refund that, you start with it. Okay, let's test out Limit Break. Okay, so you just hit it... You hit it right away. Yeah, it doesn't like add anything to the abilities, just makes him do a bit more damage. Does it change this? Oh yeah, you get that limit break lunge. In fact, all your regular abilities... Ah. All of these abilities get upgraded a bit. <laughs> Except Stomp. Stomp is just a, is still just Stomp. <laughs> Shoot two little bursts. Still one charge, though. Yo, thanks, Emperor. How's it going, Draco? Loving it. Thank you so much for the 29 months. Appreciate you. Oh, I just returned the title. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I guess it works, though. Imagine if the game didn't autosave. This is why modern autosaving is a nice thing. I guess we're just going in for a little story. Might run to the bathroom real quick before we do this. Just a quick so let me go do that. Let's see what Sid's got for us. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place 
where people can live on their own terms. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. Oh. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. An epic hit of nostalgia. Ah, yes, Oriflam is the capital. I've been waiting to remember what that is. Of our farm in the eastern provinces Look at this guy. To the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. Finally get to see the Emperor. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Okay, that was that was very odd. P perhaps they're just setting up. Uh, what's her name? It's been such a long time. Annabelle, right? Uh. Uh, is, perhaps they're just setting up Annabelle as being like the true evil, but he was not giving off vibes of being that evil. Uh, <laughs> I did like the personal tray for the flower, though. That was pretty great. But uh, he doesn't exude like evilness. He, he exudes like typical emperor behavior. Um, But what I find strange is like they kept the emperor from us for so long, like his, they kept talking about him, but they never showed us the emperor till just now. And he doesn't really stand out. He's just kind of like emperor dude, especially his physical appearance. I, his physical appearance, he almost looked like Clive's dad. Like just he, a lot of the guy characters have a very similar face in this game. They don't stick out as much. In fact, I would say, the female characters are way better designed than the male characters, at least in terms of uh, differences, you know, of face and being able to recognize them. The, the guy characters all kind of blend together for me. A lot of the guy characters just kind of look samey to me, whereas the girl characters really stand out. And I'm just talking about physical uh, features, like like physical appearance. Um, but yeah, like he was just kind of, he was just kind of chilling. Like he was just kind of doing his emperor thing. He wasn't that evil. So either they're, either they're, uh, setting him up to be just thwarted by Annabelle and he's not really that important or there's something more to him, but yeah, kind of weird. Just weird that they spent so long building him up and then he wasn't really that exciting. He was just kind of an emperor, but again, the flower thing was funny. <laughs> I did enjoy. He had a flower. He smelled it. And then a guy came up with a tray for him to put his flower on it. Now that he had smelled it. <laughs> like that, that was pretty great. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. I was about to say they haven't explained. They have not explained the blight yet. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. Oh yeah, there's something deeper going on with the crystals. All right, listen. I love where this is going. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although admittedly, this air fits more easily in the pocket. The mother crystals are massive, some as large as mountains. So you see the problem? Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift if what you say is true how did no one else see it who says they didn't maybe the truth was inconvenient inconvenient to whom exactly the higher ups the 
gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have you aboard all the same. Yeah, that prelude on the harp, that was something. Really enjoyed that. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. Aha, funny RPG jokes. So, uh, yeah, it almost feels like, in a way, we just played the prologue and now it finally turned into save the world, you know? The typical Final Fantasy of now we got to save the world. <laughs> this whole thing was a prologue and now we're actually starting um kind of cool actually don't mind me just take it So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. And still nothing of use. Speaking of Oriflam. Actually, wait. Are you the trading routes leading south of seeing more than double the usual traffic? If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing. And it ain't tie as borbile tea. Summit. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. I find it a bit strange that my quest was to talk to her and there's literally I nothing in her store in. worth on, anything. Then. Except I think is this new? Yeah, this is new, I think. But yeah. <laughs> oh, and this is new. Yeah, she still has completely useless equipment. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. What do you have that's new? Make it quick. So, what'd it be? Aha, that's right. We got, uh... Oh, it actually takes the storm cry, too. No scratches, right? It looks similar to my other sword, but I think the blade is different. Oh, yeah, the blade is a lot different. I just realized. I was looking at that red gem in the hilt, because this has a similar looking red part in the hilt, but obviously the rest of the sword's completely different. <laughs> 